Well, good afternoon, uh, and thanks for all of you for coming out on a slightly drizzly Friday afternoon uh, and fighting traffic to be here for what's, what's going to be a great event. My name is Mark Murray, and I'm going to be the MC. Uh, and this is, frankly, a somewhat unusual event, particularly at this time of year. Uh, it's bringing together people from different sides of a political issue to say that while we have our differences, we also want to work together and put our money and put our investment into a project that's going to be a terrific community asset for this entire community for decades to come. Uh, we're going to hear from the three principals and then we'll have some Q&A. And then afterwards, I'd invite you to uh, go into the Project Design Center and get more information and more visuals of the project that uh, the investment is being made in today. Uh, so I'm going to introduce the three speakers and then step aside. Uh, first person we'll hear from is Brad Smith. And Brad is the General Counsel and Executive Vice President of Microsoft. Uh, he heads up our legal and corporate affairs office. Uh, Two of his many duties are to guide the company's public policy agenda and also uh, to guide the company's philanthropic giving. Uh, he's the immediate past chair of the Washington Roundtable, and he's also the immediate past chair, uh, along with his wife Kathy, of the United Way of King County's fundraising campaign, which just raised the largest donation amount of any United Way anywhere in the country in the history of, of the United Way, $120 million. Uh, then we'll hear from Kemper Freeman, Jr., who is the principal owner and hands-on leader of Kemper Development Company, uh, which has developed a total of 4 million square feet of real estate in the Bellevue Central Business District, uh, including Bellevue Square, Bellevue Place, and Lincoln Square. Uh, Kemper is the past chairman of the International Council of Shopping Centers, as well as the past chairman of the Association's Government Relations Committee. He serves as a board member of Overlake Hospital and Medical Center, uh, also of the Tadeuchi Center, and he's uh, had a long history of involvement in political and civic activities, uh, including a former Washington State legislator and has served on the boards of numerous businesses and civic organizations. And then finally, we'll hear from John Haynes, uh, who is the executive director and CEO of the Tadeuchi Center, uh, formerly known as PACE, for those of you that are keeping score at home. He brings 30 years of experience to the Tadeuchi Center, having uh, successfully built, opened, and operated performing arts centers and theaters in Minneapolis, San Diego, and the University of Notre Dame. Uh, John serves as the president of the Western uh, Arts Alliance and is active in the Bellevue Rotary, Eastside Business Roundtable, and the Puget Sound Regional Council. Uh, so with that, I'd like to first call to the podium Brad Smith to share his thoughts on today. Brad. Thank you, Mark, and thanks to all of you for coming this afternoon. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here. Uh, I'm pleased to be here first because we're here to talk about something that we at Microsoft think is a very important opportunity for Bellevue and for the east side of Puget Sound, the Tadeuchi Center. Uh, we're here today because we at Microsoft are announcing the contribution of a million dollars to help build the Tatiuchi Center here in Bellevue. As you may know, this has been a long-standing commitment for our company. We donated a million dollars in 2006. We donated $100,000 in 2008. We're complementing that with this contribution here today. This is the kind of center that we believe will make Bellevue a better place. It will add to the richness of the east side. It will enable us as a business and many other businesses in the region to offer even more, not only to the people who live here today, but to the people who may come and live and work here in the future. Second, it's a real pleasure to be here today with Kemper Freeman. We at Microsoft have had the opportunity to work with Kemper and to partner with Kemper on many causes over many years. And we even get the opportunity to enjoy every day being part of Bellevue Square. Sometimes we're on the same side of issues and sometimes we're on different sides of issues. And in a way, that is sort of what life is all about. It's certainly what it means to be part of a community. 
Recently, we've been on differing sides of Initiative 1125, and we've each had the opportunity to work hard and offer our points of views, and I'm sure we'll both continue to do that. But at the same time, there are some ties in the community that are deeper than any single issue, and this is certainly one of them. It's a great opportunity for us here today to take this step, not just as a single company, but in partnership with Kemper Development Corporation. So with that, let me turn it over to Kemper Freeman. Kemper? Thank you, Thank you Brad. Who says good things don't come from politics? This is a, a really great moment, I think, for uh, both uh, our company, Kemper Development Company, and Microsoft to work together. Uh, both of us are politically active on a number of different topics, usually agree. This time we didn't agree. Maybe we could have been even drawn into putting more into our political contributions. I don't know how long I could match Microsoft on how far contributions can go, but I am very pleased to announce that uh, we are matching them today on a million dollar contribution to join their million dollars. And both of us have a notion that these two million might have gone into the political foray and all it would have done is balanced each other off and probably not moved the needle very far. So this is a much better use uh, to put this money to work. The Tadeuchi Center, which is a long commitment of our family and our corporation, and it's been a long goal of Microsoft. And it seemed that if we were going to do additional things, that putting it into this institution would be really good. Now, uh, we're very pleased to uh, join in this today. And I get a chance now to introduce our executive director, John Haynes, who a moment ago wished that uh, Brad and I might get an argument like this every couple of days and tell them we raise all the necessary money for this Tadeuchi Center. But I don't think Brad and I can do it by ourselves. We enjoy having the community join us, and uh, we look forward to the community helping with this very worthwhile endeavor. Thank you very much, and John Haynes. Well, first of all, of course, thank you very much, Kemper, and thank you, Brad. Thank you, Kemper Development Corporation and Microsoft for your ongoing support of this project uh, and for the vision that you bring, not just to this project, to our, but to our community at large. Um, you know, the ability to disagree about one thing and work energetically and the ability to agree about something else important in the community and to work energetically together to make that happen, that's what real leadership looks like in a community and we could use more of it, frankly. We live in a very polarized time and what Brad and Kemper are doing today, among other things, I think, is a model not only for our community and our region but for the nation and I want to thank them for that as well. Uh, it's interesting that in some respects these particular gifts had their, their roots in transportation policy because one of the values, one of the benefits that Tadeuchi Center will bring to this community is to level out that problem. Whatever the solutions long range are for the transportation problems of King County, one thing we know for sure is that the status quo for arts organizations and for the audiences they serve is simply not sustainable into the future. This metropolitan area is too big, too dense, and too spread out for it to be served only by cultural organizations that reside in downtown Seattle. It's not good for those organizations to be unable to reach the 600,000 potential patrons who live on the east side, nor is it a good thing for our, for our arts supporters, for potential patrons and donors, and for their families to be isolated from the cultural life of the community because they live on the wrong side of the lake. Right now, if you live on the Sammamish Plateau and you love the symphony, you might just as well live in Idaho. Uh, on Wednesday, I decided I wanted to take my family to the opera, just day before yesterday. So I left work uh, early in the day. I went and picked up my wife. I took my daughter out of an after-school um, community uh, uh, service project early uh, and had made reservations to have dinner at McCall Hall. Uh, we drove to McCall Hall, arriving 45 minutes late in a really bad mood, uh, which was uh, somewhat cured by the wonderful front of house staff at McCall Hall. But nonetheless, it points up the problem for people who want to participate in the cultural life of the community. The ballet will perform here, some of its season in Bellevue. 
the symphony will perform significant parts of its season here in Bellevue. In fact, we're standing right where our front door will be, right behind me, just about 10 feet. So this is a project that serves people, serves our communities, our families, not just the east side, but the entire Puget Sound region, all of King County, and all of its arts organizations. It is truly the rising tide that raises all boats. Kemper and Brad and their respective companies have been critical to our coming this far together. We have a long way to go in a difficult climate, but we're gonna get there. It's important, it's important to the community and to our families. So thank you for coming today and um, please keep supporting us.